Hello and welcome to this tutorial on SPAD.next and the PMDG777. Uh, we're going to start off with configuration. Now, here we are in the ground in Ottawa, and unlike the thumbnail, the snow has stopped. Alright, so with SPAD.next, there are a few items that you need to do to make sure that it is running, communicating, and all the data is flowing. Okay, first up, don't run the sim. My sim's running, but that's because I've already done this. So in your case, don't run the sim. Okay, so first thing you need to do is, and again, before the sim is running, you need to go find your uh, your files. All right, local disk, we're gonna go to program files, we're gonna go to Lockheed Martin, we're gonna go to prepared version four. We're gonna scroll on down to PMDG, PMDG 777X, because I don't have anything else, and you find the options.ini. I use Notepad++, makes it really easy for editing. I highly recommend you download Notepad++. Okay, so under SDK, you need to make sure that you enable data broadcast equals one. So enable data broadcast equals one. This is in the SPAD manual. Using other applications like remote CDUs, you also need to enable the CDU broadcast. And you can see that I have enable CDU broadcast dot one equals one, dot zero equals one, and dot two equals one. So that way all three CDUs will be broadcast. Okay, once you've done this and you saved it, that part is good. Now, so you want to drag SPAD over. So we drag SPAD over. Okay, so under application settings, go to simulations. Make sure you have the PMDG on and make sure you have the LVAR support on. With those two things on, uh, if you they weren't on, it may require you to uh, restart it. Anyway, also go to the configuration wizard and make sure to install the LVAR bridge if you haven't already done that. You'll know it's installed because after you've done that with spad.next, if you go in the menu bar to add-ons, you will see spad.next and it says, hey, disable LVAR access. So obviously that means that it is running and it is not disabled. Now that we've got spad.next running, um, the multi-panel is the easiest way to figure out if it's working um, because when you go to the multi-panel uh, and we'll use altitude, so my display event, I'm going to grab the PMDG 777 MCP altitude. So up here, I make sure that my PMDG values are enabled. So now I can go to the PMDG and I can search for ALT and of course now I've got my MCP altitude so there's my MCP dot altitude MCP dot altitude and that's now assigned to the display um, for my clockwise turn, we've enabled the MCP 777 event, right? So this is, in the, this is a sim event, right? When we look at this configuration simulation event, um, so what we did was we made sure PMDG 777 was enabled because that was up there. And now, just like there are all those sim connect events, you now have uh, PMDG events. So we have MCP altitude selector. It's a control. And we went with special value of mouse wheel up. Um, this parameter value is automatically populated so you don't actually have to enter that. That's what a mouse wheel up event parameter is. So mouse wheel up and then we've got for the counterclockwise turn we have the mouse wheel down event. Um, so you have all kinds of simulation events um, inside of it. There's the set one, set two, set zero. There's the uh, right click, left click. Um, it's kind of virtual events that uh, map 
to how you would interact with the virtual cockpit. So now that I see uh, that display value, which would match my MCP value, uh, it's, this is kind of the easiest way to know, yes, you've got it configured and it is talking. Uh, and then you can, of course, go online and use the online snippets to download a bunch of the default panels that exist already. Thanks for watching this quick little video, and if there's any uh, questions, put them in the comments, uh, or post them on the SPAD forums where people will help you. Uh, hopefully this got you going. Okay.